Polak, 5 Lies About the Student Walkout for Gun Control Thousands of students walked out of classrooms at schools across the country on Wednesday to protest for new gun control legislation in the wake of last month's mass shooting at Marjorie Stone Mason Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. The mainstream media are celebrating the walkout as an authentic expression of outrage that demands a response from political leaders. But it is not, and there are at least five lies they are telling you about it. Lie number one. The walkout is being staged by students. In most schools, especially elementary schools, the walkout is being organized by teachers, administrators, and liberal parents. Nationwide, the walkout is being coordinated by the Women's March, an anti Trump organization that has a soft spot for radical anti Semites like Louis Farrakhan. Big media companies, especially CNN, have been publicizing the protest. Students are involved but not in charge. Line number 2, the walkout is voluntary. Younger children cannot stay in classrooms by themselves, and they cannot opt out. Older children in some schools are reportedly allowed to stay behind, but many will be less likely to do so given pressure from adults and peers. Somehow, the liberals who argue against prayer in public schools, even a generic moment of silence, because of fears of religious coercion are creating a coercive political environment. Organizers are pulling a sly bait and switch. At my daughter's school, for example, staff and the PTA organized a peace and kindness assembly. The principal told parents, via email, there will be no mention of school shootings, guns, or violence of any kind. But the PTA said, Schools across the country and state are supporting their students as they show their support for greater gun control. They minimize objections by selling peace to parents, then maximize impact by pushing gun control in the media. Lie number 4, the walkout is nonpartisan. The groups involved in organizing the walkout are all left-wing and Democrat-aligned. Few, if any, schools are bothering to provide an alternative point of view about the importance of the Second Amendment or about arming qualified teachers and staff to intercept and deter possible attackers. Lie number 5, if you oppose the walkout, you support violence against children. This is the most pernicious lie of all, and real message of the protests. The goal of the walkout, aside from mobilizing Democrats against gun-cleaning Republicans in a midterm election year, is to shame Second Amendment supporters into silence and conformity. It amounts to exploiting our children, as well as those 17 deaths in Florida, for political purposes. purposes.